everybody, this is Mr. Govan, and I want to walk you through the, how to use a dichotomous key with the butterfly classification. So on here we've got all these beautiful butterflies and we even went the extra mile and printed it for you in color. And what your job is, is to find the names of all these little guys. And so what's nice is we've actually given you an answer key down here. And so if you look real closely, we have all the names, uh, the genus species names of all the different butterflies. And so um, what you do here is you take a look at a butterfly. So let's start over here with uh, adorable little butterfly A. And so if we look at that, we go down to our key, and in part one it says wings have a spotted pattern, or do wings not have a dot pattern? And so if we look at him again, does he have dots or spots? Mm, I'd say no. And so if your answer is no, wings do not have a dot pattern, we trace it to the right over here, it tells us to go to part two. So when we look at part two, Hind wings have a smooth edge, or hind wings do not have a smooth edge. And so when we look back at him, it's fairly smooth. What we mean by not smooth is something like this. That is not smooth. But this one, you know, even though it's got little tiny bumps in there, it's overall considered smooth. And so um, since it's considered smooth, hind wings have a smooth edge, we have to go to three. So in three, it says four wings have a banding, Four wings have other patterns. And if you don't know, four wings are the wings that are on top. These are your hind wings, these are your four wings. And so you see here we have a nice band going across. And so for um, part three, the four wings have banding. So now if we trace that over to the right, it tells us to go to part four. So in four, four wing band is, is large and red, hind wings no band. Four wing band is orange, hind wings show blue markings. All right, so let's go look at him again. Oh, the four wing is orange and the hind wing is blue. So it's the second option in part four. And so if we look here, part four, band is orange, hind wings are blue markings, and we go all the way to the right. Oh, we have a name. And so this little butterfly is known as Calicor Aegina, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but that's okay. And so this is what you would write. Pay careful attention here that you keep the first one, the genus, capitalized, and the second one, Aegina, our species name, in lowercase. I know it seems weird because we're used to writing names capital, capital, but when we're naming genus species, it's always capital and lowercase. And so for each of our butterflies here today, you're going to go through and do the same thing. And so if we go to butterfly B, we're going to start back at question one. The wings have a spotted or the wings do not have a dot pattern. And so um, you just follow that one through. In this case, um, we would say that this one, I know it's a little weird because he looks like he does, but um, the spotted pattern is actually referring to this guy right here. Um, so he does not have a dot pattern, which means we go to part two for him. And so you're just going to keep flowing through the whole process. Now, your teacher has a key to this one. So before you commit it and glue everything down in your notebook, uh, come check the key and just make sure you're doing it all right. If you have any questions, please let us know. We're happy to help. Thanks.